Ubisoft shows off Skull and Bones narrative gameplay in new dev stream. Skull and Bones is an upcoming action-adventure video game developed by Ubisoft Singapore and published by Ubisoft. The game is set to release during 2023-2024 for Amazon Luna, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S. A version for Google Stadia was planned before the services shut down. The game revolves around piracy and naval warfare. Following this week's announcement of yet another delay for Skull and Bones, Ubisoft has shared 30 minutes of new footage from its beleaguered pirate adventure, focusing on what it calls the game's narrative gameplay. It's perhaps something of an unexpected place to return after a lengthy absence, given Ubisoft insisted Skull and Bones was not a narrative-driven game last summer but it does at least give players a better idea of how the publisher is attempting to inject a bit of variety into the action. Skull and Bones is a tactical action game set in an open-world environment and played from a third-person perspective. Players take control of a customizable pirate ship and may choose to sail the Indian Ocean by themselves and set off on a single-player campaign or gather up to five other players to ally in player versus player gameplay in disputed waters. Wind positioning can be assessed to gain an advantage in battle. Players may collect additional ships throughout the game, such as sloops of war, frigates and brigantines, whose weapons include mortars, broadside cannons, and rockets. Ships can be charged into with brute force and boarded. The rate of inflicted damage is gauged by the health bar. A core component is the multiplayer mode Loot Hunt, where two groups of players are challenged in treasure hunting to further accumulate their riches. Each given ship's crow's nest is scalable for use as a lookout point and spyglasses can be availed of as well. Microtransactions will be included. As Ubisoft explained last year, Skull and Bones is overwhelmingly focused on sailing and combat with players only able to disembark their ships and explore dry land at a limited number of locations, defined as outposts. Functionally, outposts serve as places players can trade, cash in contracts, pay off factions, and meet other players, but, as detailed in Ubisoft's latest gameplay dev stream, they're also locations where they might find narrative content Ubisoft is calling investigations. According to a Kotaku report, the game has undergone multiple changes in direction and scope during development, exceeding its budget multiple times. Initially set in the Caribbean, it was moved to the fantastical Hyperborea, then finally the Indian Ocean. Gameplay was redesigned multiple times, focusing variously on naval exploration and ship-to-ship -ship combat before both were scrapped in favor of land-based survival elements inspired by games like Rust. Developers contacted by journalist Ethan Gatch attributed these difficulties to conflicting ideas, management issues, and lack of consistent direction. The project reportedly cost Ubisoft more than $120 million. It was revealed during Ubisoft's press conference at E3 2017. It was confirmed for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, with enhancements for PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X. Alongside the game, Ubisoft Singapore announced the Keepers of the Code program, designed to allow players to aid in the fine-tuning of its live service aspects. Originally set to be released in Q3-Q4 2018, the game was later delayed into 2019 and again to sometime after March 2020. On a call with investors in October 2019, Ubisoft CEO Eve Guillemot confirmed that the game had been pushed back to at least the April 2021 to March 2022 fiscal year. In May 2021, Ubisoft announced a subsequent delay to the April 2022 to March 2023 fiscal year. In July 2022, the company revealed a November 8 release date for the game. In September 2022, Ubisoft announced that the release was pushed back to March 9, 2023. In January 2023, Ubisoft announced that the game had been delayed to a 2023-2024 release window. In September 2020, it was revealed that, while development was continuing, 
a new vision for the game had emerged, which resulted in the release delays as more development time was needed. As well, it was stated that additional Ubisoft studios, such as Ubisoft Berlin, were co-developing the game alongside Ubisoft Singapore.